Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is turkey time bomb, question mark. Uh, well, we came in this morning uh, looking at all the uh, data. Uh, the globe has uh, got a lot of things going on here. So, Bobby, you brought up about Turkey and uh, what we discussed in last week's blog. Yeah, last week we said we had some concerns overseas. Now, we didn't think it would come to fruition so quickly. Right. Uh, but on Friday, uh, the Turkey currency started crashing. Yes. So it's been falling all year, but really crashed on Friday. And here's the problem. You have a, a government that has kept interest rates too low for too long and out of control spending. Right. And that, that's the problem. And so you have Turkish uh, government bonds yield 20%. That, that's a lot. That, right. That's a lot. Right. So, but, but, uh, but let me say this. Is somebody watching this blog, though, they go, wait a sec. Turkey's over here. My, you know, I'm in the United States. I've got my money in the market. What's, what's the impact there? Yeah. So we, on, based on historical numbers, you have the issue, the Asian crisis in 1997. In 1995, you had the Mexican debt issue. Right. Uh, and then so emerging markets sold Remember off. those. S&P held up. So we think it's a very similar situation. Yeah, so so volatility, uh, possible uh, corrections just based on emotion. Uh, U.S. data is still looking very yeah. positive. Yeah. I, think, uh, I think you're already kind of seeing here. how this is uh, impacting our markets. Like you said, Turkey's very far away. Right. It's also not a terribly large co country. It is yeah. big, but it's still an emerging sure. economy. Sure. But we saw it on Friday. Our markets really traded off. But So it's kind of good and bad. So as, as there's a risk off globally, people run to the dollar. We saw the dollar strengthen. That's great for, for U.S. consumers and U.S. Uh, producing companies that are in the S&P and in the markets that our, our uh, clients are invested in. Add to that that U.S. bond yields are falling, so U.S. bond prices are rising. So while it's a small country, it's having a big impact on how our markets are performing, and we don't think it's going to be systematic by any means. But, it's, sure. you know, you know let's, let's take some risk off and let's enjoy kind of the ride short term uh, while, while, while people are concerned about emerging markets. There's no doubt that our market has definitely been the safest so far and the most consistent this year. Right. And, that's, and so that's why you're seeing these concerns overseas that we've been watching closely actually been, seem to be benefiting us. Right. Well, and, and I've already had people respond to me going, OK, I, I watched the blog last week. You're talking about Turkey. I remember when Greece was mm -hmm. having problems. Greece's economy was the size of Dallas Fort right. Worth economy, yet it caused some major impact. Yeah, you, want, you want to yeah, talk about I the think, difference? One yeah, or I two? think mainly the, the difference between Greece, Greece, while smaller than Turkey, is much more systematically important because they're in the European Union. Turkey is its own its own entity. They they can't create the big as big a headache as Greece because Germany doesn't own a bunch of Turkish debt. Germany had to buy Greece debt, so that could con expand to them. And then also a lot of European banks that have some Turkish exposure really do that through joint partnerships with local Turkish banks. Right. So if things get really bad, they can just kind of sort of like a, a homeowner leaving a, a home and mortgage, just leave the keys in the mailbox and walk away. You know, it's not great, but it's not nearly the systematic issue that we saw with Greece. Sure. And, and tying it back to the United States, Let's just talk just a little bit because we've talked about the Fed could raise rates. Mm. If the Fed did raise rates, what's the impact yeah. globally from that yes. standpoint? I mean, everything's and how's that impact the, e the Everything's kind of connected. So we see the Fed raising rates because the U.S. economy is doing well. Okay. That, that helps short-term bonds, kind of causes long-term U.S. interest rates to, to go up, which may cause the price to go down. But that caused the dollar to strengthen, which is really what's driving Turkey Turkey down. Yeah. You have a stronger <laughs> dollar. Turkey has a lot of debt denominated in dollars. So the Turkish... Currency is collapsing. Their debt is not right, and so that causes them to be have more expense, which then causes the dollar to go up, which then you know becomes a, a really negative cycle for Turkey, but kind of positive for for our our sure. Fixed so global markets. economics are tied together, which also that rippling effect can tie into our clients' portfolios, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in terms of how that can impact right. them. And the other thing I want to say here is that this time last year we were dealing with North Korea firing missiles, and the markets were volatile. Uh, we got through that. We navigated through that. Here again, we've got a global situation, which ultimately, Turkey time bomb, question mark, may very well be a non-event when it's all said and done, but it's going to create some major right. uh, emotion in the markets. Mm -hmm. So on that note, we hope you have a great week. We're going to keep you updated. We appreciate you taking time to watch us on your phone, your laptop, in your office or home. And we also really appreciate those of you that have taken time just to forward that and to share it with others to say, hey, here's some valuable information that you may find beneficial as well. That means a lot to us, and we thank you for that. Have a great week, and we'll be in touch.